Hi, this is Alex Marienthal with the Gallatin National Forest Avalanche Center with a weekly snowpack update for the mountains near Cook City on January 20th. Avalanche activity over the past week is fairly limited. Uh, last weekend, there were a couple snowmobiler triggered avalanches and natural avalanches, including this rider triggered slide on the east facing slope of Henderson Mountain and this natural avalanche that broke on the east side of Miller Mountain. Both of these were just large enough to be harmful or possibly bury a person, and they broke on surface horror one to two feet deep. We have, over the last couple of weeks, we have seen unstable snowpack test scores on this layer in a handful of snow pits, but we are starting to see less signs of instability as we haven't had a whole lot of snow over the past week. About three weeks ago, Tragically, a rider was killed in this very large avalanche on the south side of Crown Butte. This avalanche broke on weak, sugary snow, deeper in the snowpack. And these sorts of very large slides are becoming unlikely, but we're keeping these deeper, weak layers in mind. There may be some areas where you could find an unstable slope that breaks deeper. And when we get more snow, this may become a concern again. So over the past week, there's been just six inches of new snow. This graph shows the seasonal snowfall at the Fisher Creek Snow Tell site. And wind over the last week has been calm to light. So the snowpack has had a bit of a break from recent loading. And as I mentioned, avalanches are becoming less likely with um, this extended break from loading. Going forward this weekend, uh, there's a chance for snow Sunday with one to three inches and then a better chance Sunday night into Monday for more snow. And winds are expected to increase out of the north tomorrow and shift to the west on Sunday. So right now the avalanche danger is moderate for the possibility of triggering avalanches one to two feet deep on that buried layer of surface hoar or avalanches can break in fresh drifts of snow where, the, where any wind has drifted recent snow into thicker slabs. <clears throat> so if you're out in the back country, avalanche danger is moderate. You should consider the consequences of being caught in an avalanche and follow safe travel protocols of exposing only one person at a time to steep terrain. Make sure everyone in your group carries an avalanche shovel probe and beacon at minimum, and everyone should know how to use that gear. Stay tuned to mtavalanche.com for the most up-to-date conditions with new snow. Hopefully next week, avalanche danger could increase and avalanches could become likely. So stay tuned to the forecast each morning for the most up-to-date conditions. And if you're in the Cook City area on any Saturday this year, we have instructors at the Round Lake warming hut to run through rescue drills. So stop by for 15 to 20 minutes to make sure all your gear is in working order and you know how to use it. Thanks for checking in this week. Have fun and stay safe and check back next Friday for another snowpack update.